Hey guys, Jen here. So I am making sweet berry licious soap. Um, for those of you that purchased from Be Scented, uh, that fragrance is on sale right now through the end of the month for ten dollars for one pound. So go grab it while you can. Um, I'll try to get this video uploaded as quickly as I can so it'll give you guys about a week before the sale goes off. Anyways, um, this I'm going to do three different colors, two, two types of purple and a white, and um, I am going to do a drop swirl. So lots of people ask how I do my drop swirl. So that's what we're going to do. I'm doing the heat transfer method. You guys have seen this in the past where I add the hot lye water to the hard oils to melt the hard oils. I have my liquid oils here with my additives. We have um, heavy cream, kale and clay, and colloidal oatmeal. I have my fragrance oil measured out. I have my titanium dioxide pre-mixed back here. I won't use all that, obviously. That's for several batches of soap. Uh, and then whatever's left over, I'll pour into my little squirter bottle. But yeah, we are ready to get this show on the road. I need my stick blender head. Oh, right there it is. This is the 55 ounces of oils recipe. When you add in the water and the lye and your fragrance, it ends up being right equally at 80 ounces. So I consider this a five pound batch. Other companies, other people consider a five pound batch when you have 80 ounces of oils. So I think that's personal preference, honestly, um, on what you consider to be five pounds. To me, I think the whole batch combined is five pounds. But everybody's different, and that's okay. All right. So I'm going to use my stick blender just to buzz up these last few little pieces. transfer method obviously um, melt all your oils first and do it that way. I'm going to stick blend my additives. That way I know they're fully incorporated before I add them to my bath. I can scrape this well because I'm going to use this container um, for one of the colors. So I'm going to scrape it out good. I'm joining taking today off. It's President's Day. And make some soap. Now, I'm not going to add my fragrance yet. I want to get this all incorporated and then um, mix my colors. Speaking of which, let me get my colors out. I want to do, um, like I said, um, white. I'm going to do our pretty purple from Be Scented. And then I want to do magic purple. Do 
These are two different purples. One is much brighter and it's got a pinky tone to it. To me this smells like um, bubble gum. I love it. Oopsies. Okay, that's all the stick blending I'm going to do for now. I've had a lot of people tell me after watching my videos that they realize they're over stick blending. And that is a big culprit for a lot of people. Let's see, I don't think all the colors will fit in three containers. I will see. Yes, it will, Jen. Scrapey, scrapey. This one's got a little bit more in it, and it will be my white. I always like a soap that has white. I make soaps that don't have white, but I personally prefer a soap that has white in it. I don't know why, I just really like it. I think it makes the colors pop. Okay, so I've got my white here. It's super concentrated. I only added enough water to dissolve the titanium dioxide. We'll do pretty purple in one. Now this is a pigment, so it's super strong. That was maybe about a quarter teaspoon or so, between a quarter and a half. And this is about, about a teaspoon. Micas are not as bright. They're beautiful and shimmery. Now see what I mean about that having like a pink tone to it? Now this will be purple. Big difference in the two purples. <laughs> Clean our stick blender off for the next batch of soap. Now we're going to add our fragrance and hand stir. Gonna scrape my sides. Just gonna leave that in there. You need a fragrance that's not super fluid for the type of drop swirl I do. And one that doesn't get real thick on you either. You need time to do your design. Now, if it thickens up, it's okay. You can still get a drop swirl. Just may not be quite designed in exactly how you want it. So, we're gonna put our base layer. See, my white is starting to set up some. It's okay, we'll keep stirring it. See if we can't get this to come out good. Now, I want a steady pour steady stream of soap to drop down in there and I go about up down and up again down up down whatever about three times and we're going to alternate our colors Stir 
stirring in between will really help loosen your color back up if it's starting to set up on you. So keep spatulas on hand, stir, stir, stir. Now, and also you can pour up from a little bit higher. I'm actually about eight inches above the mold. Come on out. There we go. And then also, if you get going and you're like, oh my god, it's not turning out how I want, you know, chopsticks are your friend. Use one of those when you're done. Doesn't have to be a drop swirl. A lot of times I do a drop swirl and then go back in and I may do that here and may do another video with my drop swirl with my soap that's not quite as set up. So we'll change this one to chopstick. Chopstick swirls are beautiful. And they sort of serve the same purpose as doing a spoon swirl, but the lines are more defined. So as you can see, this is setting up on me, but it's not like soap on a stick or something like that. And a lot of this has to do with I'm doing water discount, and also, I'm um, soaping doing room temp or the transfer method, heat transfer, which makes for a warmer batter of soap. I love these colors. So, any who's it? This is going to be the last, and then I'm going to save the rest for the top. Shimmy shake. Alright, chopsticks. I got some out earlier. What did I do with them? I don't know. Here's one. Now, you have a pointy end and a flat end. I always use the flat end because I don't want to jab my mold. So I just go down the mold in the center, kind of go to one side, kind of go to the other side, all going the same direction. And then one last time, I'll go down and I'll do it the opposite direction. And that's how I do mine. With a chopstick. I'm so excited for this soap. It smells absolutely amazing. I think I'll use my chopstick to swirl the top of it as well. Just putting little blobs everywhere. There's that one. The last one. There's no rhyme or reason to where I put this other than trying to space them out to where it's kind of even.
videos, but they're in school. So, I kind of, uh, when I soap is when I can, obviously with Be Scented, uh, and shipping orders and taking care of all that stuff. So I soap when I can, and most of the time that's when the kids are in, the sc in school. Now, we're going to put some glitter on this because, you know, it deserves some glitter. And that's that. I'll bring you back for the cut. Hey guys, I am back to cut the, uh, here it is. Let me scoot this back. Make sure you guys can see well. We're cutting Sweet Very Licious. And tighten up my wire. I'm going to cut my end piece off. And this is where we were going to do the drop swirl. And then it ended up not working out great. And I switched it up and done the chopstick. How pretty. See, even though we didn't do what we planned, it turned out awesome. Oh, I love it. Wow, so pretty. Everybody kept commenting on the top of my soap, how pretty it was. Thank you so much. I'm very, very pleased. Nice. The swirls are amazing. Exactly what I was expecting doing the chopstick. Last one. Love it. Some people asked me how do I not get ash on my soaps. Sometimes I do. I mean, that's... And I don't worry with it, so... But spraying with alcohol does help. Alright, guys. We'll see you on the next video.